What is up guys? It's Razor. Welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy XII The Zodiac Age. In the previous episode we continued on through the Pharos. In this episode we're going to complete this area. Yeah, we're just about done here. We're on the third ascent and we're in the Empyrean Rabble. Empyrean Rabble. Piece of dark matter. Nice. Cutscene time. The sun crisp must be near. I wonder if she'll really do it. Take revenge against the Empire. I mean, I know how she must feel. It's hard losing someone you care about. Something we all got in common. But you know, no matter how hard we try, we can't change the past. There's nothing that can bring them back. Still, Sometimes when I close my eyes, I can see them so clearly. The illusions of the past. You think to have cast them off, only to find them years later. Unwearying, unrelenting. The past can bind a man as surely as irons. Cut the true path. But will she? All right, let's continue on while Pinello's buffing everybody. There's a save point over there. We need to go the other way, though. See if there's any chest down here or anything. We get a mega elixir, all right. Those are going to be very nice against the super boss of the game. As many mega elixirs I can get, I'd be happy. Take as many of those as the game will give me. Alright, so I think that's about it. Uh, let's see if there's anything... This basically just loops around. Yep, that's about it. Alright. Just wanted to make sure I got everything. Didn't want to miss anything. Man, four times speed is so nice. They need to put four times speed in more games. But I know why they don't. All right, go ahead and save it. And then we have some cutscenes coming up. And obviously since there's a save point, you know what that means. It's a Final Fantasy game that gives you a save point. Every time there's a save point, what happens after in a Final Fantasy game? Yep. Always a boss battle. This tower wrought by hands undying. Heaven bound path. 
You who master power, wisdom, mist, the tower's secrets are for you, and you alone. Claim them. The hev to heaven's last height you now ascend. Chosen. Know now the reason of your choosing. Okay. All right, I'm back, and I'm not actually where I, where I was at before. And the reason I went back down to floor number 88 uh, to fight this rare game, Tower. Oh, uh, we definitely want to steal from this thing. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that real quick. Why is Vaughn not stealing? Oh. Gotta change that. There we go. Alright, Pinello, stop attacking. Reddit, stop attacking. Okay, got it. Make sure to steal that nugget of whatever that was. Mm. Go back to Scave. Okay, Gambit's back on. Let's go and finish this thing off. It has a lot of HP. Over 100,000. There we go. Took it down. So that was the rare game tower. It spawns right here. Which we came to in the last episode. Yeah, I wanted to go ahead and fight that thing before I finish this area. So that way I didn't have to come back here. So I'll meet you guys back where we were, where we were at before. At that save point. Alright, I'm back. And we're here at the Imprint and Ravel at the save point where we were at before. And I want to give Hash Maul to somebody before we continue on. Alright, so let's figure out what job I want to give him. Uh, what he's blocking. Okay, for Monkey's blocking Cura and Rays. Oh, which is pretty useless. Uh, for Shikari, he's blocking Bone Crusher, also useless. Um, hmm. For Machinist, not blocking anything. Archer, uh, not blocking anything. Black Mage, blocking Makara, useless. For Foe Breaker, Nothing. Nothing for Bushi either. Uh, for White Mage. Uh, where's he at? Where's it at? Nothing. For Knight. Also nothing. And finally for Pinello. Ooh, channeling. I'm probably going to do that for sure. And then steal. Okay, we're definitely going to do channeling. I think that's better than Cure and Raise. I don't need Vaughn to have Raise. Because he could just use Phoenix Down. Just use a Phoenix Down, lol. Just use a Phoenix Down, lol. Alright, so up ahead... Uh, gonna be a boss battle, of course. I think I'm fine with this party right here, actually. Um, 
But we want to equip some stuff. Uh, let's put our Hermes sandals on Vaughn there. To boost his strength a lot. Um, for Fran, we'll get some magic boosting stuff. There we go. That boosts magic by a lot. I think that boosts magic by the most. Or no, it doesn't. Opal rings do. Yeah, opal rings are the way to go. And then for Pinello, I guess I'll give her an opal ring as well. Yeah, she has upgraded, uh, hmm. Yeah, let's give her the Tula. And then Grand Bolts as well. Alright, so Fran's going to be using Scave in this battle. Um... We don't need to steal from him, or don't need to steal from the boss. And then uh, Vaughn's going to be attacking, obviously. I'm actually put Vaughn in Berserk, actually, because, or no, no, I think I'll leave him on attack. I might need to heal with him. Let's set up a Remedy Lore. Remedy Ally Any. Remedy Ally Any. And Remedy Ally Any. Okay. Alright, we're all set and ready to go. Touch the device. And get ready for cutscene. So this is the Sun Crist. King Wraithwall stood here. With this sword, he cut the Suncrest and took its power in his hand. But you're going to use the sword to destroy the Suncrest. Aren't you, Ash? <sighs> Don't interrupt me, Vaughn. You want revenge? You would have me use the stone? You would have me destroy the Empire? Is this my duty? Is this what you want? I cannot. Why do you hesitate? 
Take what is yours. The Christ is a blade. It was meant for you. Wield it. Avenge your father. <sighs> yes. It was I who wore Bashi's face. Who cut down the life of Delmasca. Lady Ash, your father's murderer is here. You and Rex! I slew your king. I slew your country. Do these deeds not demand vengeance? <laughs> yes. Good. Find your wrath. Take up your sword. Fight and serve those who died before you. <laughs> A judge magister there was. Two years passed. He took in his hand the Midlight Shard, stolen from Nabradia, and used it not knowing what he did. And Nabudis was blown away. Sid ordered this of him, to learn the Nethersite's true power. That man swore never to let such terrible power be used again. He forsook his Judas's plate and his name. Judge Sect. It's been too long, Gabranth. Reach out your hand, Lady Ash. But remember, that which you must grasp is something beyond revenge, something greater than despair. Something beyond our reach. Try as we might, Gabranth. History's chains bind us too tightly. No, we cannot escape the past. This man is living proof. What is your past, daughter of Damasca? Did you not swear revenge? Do the dead not demand it? Rassler, my prince, our time was short. Yet I know this. You are not the kind to take base revenge! The Rassler I knew is gone. You are our saint, Tashelia Banagan. You must use the Nethersite. You must be the one to straighten history's weave. I am no false saint for you to use. Ash. In all Dalmasca's long history, not once did we rely on the Dusk Shard. Our people resolved never to use it, though their need might be dire. That was the Dalmasca I wanted back. To use the stone now would be to betray that. I will destroy the sun, Christ. I will discard the stone. You claim no need of power? What of your broken kingdom's shame? The dead demand justice! You're wrong. Huh? What would change? I can't help my brother now. My brother's gone. He's dead. Even with power, we cannot change what is past. What is done, is done. Yet without power, what future can you claim? For good a kingdom you cannot defend. Then I will defend queen and kingdom both. <sighs> ha! 
Defend? You? You who failed Landis and Almaska. What can shame hope to keep safe? Your shield is shattered. Your oaths poison those you would protect. And it's boss time against Judge Judge Gabronf. Starts out with haste. Let's dispel that. Penel's already doing it though. And let's use Scave. He only has like 66,000 HP. Do not think killing the Kingslayer will win you back your honor. When you abandon home and kin, your name was forever stained with blood. And you can't really steal anything good from him either. Here we go, got him. Very easy, if you can tell. Doesn't have a whole lot of HP, so... So that's why he's so easy. So you would leave your debts unpaid. Enough of this. I can bear no more. You disappoint me, Gabranth. He trusted you. When you bared steel against the princess, you forswore your obligations to your emperor. You shame yourself and make mockery of Lord Lars's trust. You are unfit to serve him as sword or shield, and so I release you from that service. Your presence is neither required nor welcome. Gabranth! <laughs> You are only a tool of this Venar. How quaint. We are allies. The Acuria give men power as a master feeds his dog. It is meant to tame us. How well you've resisted their wile. By turning your back on their stones, you give us free hand to write our own history. And at what price? Damascus freedom for your nethesite? I shall not suffer you to have it. The sun crisp be damned. <laughs> be sure that it is. For what other purpose do you think you brought us here? But, my lady, I would have you stay your Acurian sword. The sun crisp is glutted with mist, and so precious a thing must not be squandered. Let us use the stone. Finish this for now. Shards of Nethersite, cocoon of the sun crest, spill forth your mist upon this evil east. Let sea and sky be awash in it that Bahamut may come and drink his fill. burned their land horn. Casts it back the shadow of a Curian design. Testament that man's history shall be his alone. You made your nether side for this. You mimic the Acuria stone for what? To become a god yourself? On whose shoulders better to stand than those of the would-be gods? Ah, such high hopes I once had, but you ran and ran and they with you. Alas, the hour of your return is late. Come, Samlin, revel in the glory of my triumph! And it's boss time against Dr. Sid. Starts out with haste, shell and protect. Which Penella should remove soon. After she gets haste on everybody. Once his HP gets down to 50%. 
the fruit of our power and knowledge. Get a little cutscene here. The stone of man is capable of witness its power with your own eyes. Turn free to me. Alright, so once he summons Famfrit, he's actually going to be immune to attacks. But we got to take out Famfrit first. So, we want to set up... I guess lowest HP. Uh, because I'm pretty sure that Famfrit has the lowest HP. Oh, no, he doesn't. Well, he actually doesn't have the lowest HP. Okay, then. Never mind. Highest, highest max HP, then. Wow. Oh yeah, I gotta set that up for uh, Redis as well because Redis is attacking Sid right now. Here's Famprit's ultimate attack. Probably gonna hurt. Yeah, let me change Redis's Gambit's uh, highest max HP. Now I'll start attacking Famprit. Uh, you can actually steal stuff from them as well. Um, you can't really steal anything good from Famfrit. Um, but you can steal something good from Dr. Sid potentially. Uh, but I've already got the item that... I've already got the piece of armor that you can steal from Dr. Sid. So I'm not really worried about it. Alright, we took out Famfrit. Very nice. Now we can take out Dr. Sid. Get him with a good... Looks like his special attack. Am I hurt? Go ahead and heal it up though. No big deal. There we go, got him. Nice. So that was Dr. Sid and Famfrit. A lot harder than Gabronf, that's for sure. But yeah, when Famfrit shows up, make sure to take it take it out first. Because you can't damage Sid until Famfrit until you take out Famfrit. So set, set it up to highest max HP. And they'll automatically go after Bamfort. You obtain the Esper Fan for the Darkening Cloud. Alright. Good stuff. Now now it's gonna be a long cutscene. Let him by Fenar. 
It is done. Ah, how I have enjoyed these six years. The pleasure was all mine. Was in no other way. <laughs> Spend your pity elsewhere. If you are so set on running, hadn't you best be off, fool of a pirate? All right, so you now have the option to save your game. So we might as well save it. Probably save it on a separate file just in case I need to go back for whatever reason. Probably won't have to though, but um, save it anyway. And more cutscenes.
Alcid? We let ourselves inside. The situation is one demanding some haste, you understand? How did you know where we were? <laughs> My little birds, they tell me many, many things. My lady, the war begins now. Then you were unsuccessful in stopping the Rosarian fleet? I used a variety of methods. All went according to plan until it came time to request withdrawal of our most devoted generals. In their enthusiasm for war, our great military leaders went behind my back straight to Marquis Sandor's resistance. The resistance? During training, a division of the resistance ignored their orders and disappeared. They were next found exchanging broadsides with the Imperials over old Nabradia. Why would they go there? They were asking to be found. You misunderstand. Those ships must surely belong to Rosarian Division. They may have joined Ondor's resistance forces as patriots or even mercenaries, but in reality they are regulars of the Rosarian army, under direct command of our war pavilion. This fifth column has invaded Imperial airspace and provoked a response. Unable to abandon them, His Excellency the Marquis was obliged to give his main fleet the order to attack. And the battleground is the Lamasca. Should this fight drag on, Rosaria will enter the fray. The defense of Dalmasca is their excuse, and we will have a war between empires. Correct. They will buy their time waiting to strike until the Empire has spent itself against the Marquis. But then he will crush them and the Marquis both between his hands. Vane holds the Dusk Shard no longer. His advantage is lost. Vane has advantages enough. He stands on higher grounds, and my birds tell me he has awoken something quite large. Bahamut, Lord of the Sky. There was a stirring in the mist, in the direction of Ridorana, I am told. Bahamut awoke soon after this. It is the mist that came before the Christ was undone. It breathed life into this Bahamut. If Rathus had not stopped it when he did, how much more mist might it have drunk? All went according to Dr. Sid's designs. Yes, the man's last great accomplishment, I fear. And so it falls to me to put an end to the thing. Vane commands Bahamut himself? He comes to Rabanaster. Then I will defend Delmasca and stop this Bahamut. This is my charge. That's our charge, actually. It's our home. It belongs to us all. And my charge is to hinder and delay this Rosarian invasion for as long as is possible. I will do what I can. Ah, yes. When this unpleasantness is done, you must come to Rosaria. I will take you to the Amber Vale of Clan Margrace. Such things I will show you. Until then, I will be waiting. And them cutscenes are pretty long. Yeah, so yeah. Um, the way to fight the Bahama is to go to it by airship. So yeah, that's where we gotta go next. The Sky Fortress Bahama. The, sky, the Straw can now travel to Bahama. Which is the final dungeon of the game. Of the main storyline. 
Uh, you can also do a race with this guy right here. And the other two. It's a mini game that you can do, but I'll uh, do it later. For now, I'm just going to end the video here. I want to thank you guys. For, actually, before I end the episode, let's go by the pub. Because there will be new hunts available now. I think this is the pub. Or tavern, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, here we go. Pi... Pi Raster. And we can also set the new hunt at Mont Blanc as well. Uh, they become available after you leave uh, the Pharos. So, there you go. And we'll probably be doing them in the next episode, I'd imagine. Because the pie raster hunt that we just got, that's a pretty short one. Uh, Ixion takes a while. It's a pretty long hunt. That takes place in another area that we haven't been to yet. So. Alright, but anyway, I'm in the video here. The next episode will probably do some hunts. Maybe some other stuff. I don't know. We'll figure it out. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. And later.